just get the run around. Wham bam, cap out, who's gonna help us now? <laughs> Call the feds, the people cry, these bad guys got no alibi. Is there a crime buster in the house? Call for Elliot Mouse. No baloney, this guy's no phony, honest to the bone. Step on the gas mag, trap that bad guy. These streets at night, the sirens wail and bullets fly. We need a little justice now. Call for Elliot Mouse. We live in fear of cheese racketeers. In the sky. But we've got tough guys on our side, so kiss your kids goodbye. Incredible. Incredible. Unbribable. Unbribable. The untouchable. The untouchable. It's Elliot Mouse in old cheese cargo. It began with a mysterious phone call to my office at the Cheese Cargo Tribune. An anonymous informant gave me a tip-off about a shipment of cheese at a port in Canada. So, knowing it was about to be smuggled into Cheese Cargo as bootleg cheese, there was only one thing for me to do. I dropped everything and headed for Canada to see if it was true, and uh, 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 that's why I'm here. Ha! The old trick of painting cheese to look like bowling balls. These guys will try anything once. But what the... Hey, this is a real bowling ball. So what they do with a cheddar? Huh? Hmm. Ah. It's here. I knew it would be. I'll take some pictures and tell the untouchables. And when they capture this shipment using my information, I'll have a real scoop to put into the Tribune. Here again, fellas. That's every day this week. What's wrong? Aren't there any criminals left in Cheese Cargo? The truth is, there isn't a better place in this whole city for a guy to relax. And my calculations show crime has gone down 46%. That's right, Wilson. It would seem as though our good friends Al Catone and Dog Moran have decided to take things a little easier just lately. Well, I don't know, Jack, but it would certainly seem that way. Well, I wouldn't get too excited about that if I were you fellas. I feel this may just be the calm before the storm. Well, while we're waiting for that particular weather system to move in, I can't think of a better place for us to enjoy good company and some pretty fantastic music. Well, now, I must say that is a surprise. I didn't realize it was the music that brought you to the Cheese Paris Club, Agent Gordon. Yeah! <laughs> Especially the music and some well-filled glasses proposing a toast. Here's to ya. Excuse me, what? Telephone Monsieur Elliot. Tino Baradi from the Cheese Cargo Tribune. Okay, thanks, Pierre. Elliot Mouse, what can I do for you? Hi, Agent Mouse, this is Tino Barati. I think I got something for you. Okay, that's great, Tino. Let me have the details. I'm listening. Just what is it you've got? I'm calling from Canada, where right now I'm watching a large shipment of cheese being loaded onto a freighter, hidden inside shoeboxes. They're planning to smuggle it into Cheese Cargo and sell it on the black market. Can you give me the name of the freighter? Sure, it's a Capri de Deux. Hey, thanks for the information, Tino. And don't worry, I can promise you an exclusive on this just as soon as we catch him. I just had that storm warning, fellas. Huh? What's happening, Elliot? We got a new case, Jack. One that's gonna keep us away from the cheese Paris for a while, and if we're lucky, well, we might even be missed by Deborah here. Well, you never know. Will you be away from here for long, fellas? I really couldn't say, Miss Deborah. I guess it all depends on whether our ship comes in or not. Let's go, fellas. Cheese. Mmm. <laughs> It's coming, Mr. Moran. And I think you'll soon realize, my dear Mr. Cheeseman, that you made the best decision for your business. Well, I hope so, because between being blackmailed by Catone and now by you... We don't blackmail anybody, mister. You got that? What do you think we are, criminals or something? That is correct, Mr. Cheeseman. We're simply offering you our protection service in return for a few cheese dollars. Well, yeah, sure, that's what I meant, Mr. Moran, but making all these protection payments will leave me plumb broke. Calm yourself, Mr. Cheeseman. We'll make sure that doesn't happen. 
As far as Mr. Catone is concerned, you can forget about him. Once this ship comes into port, you'll never have to pay him another cent. <laughs> well, that'd be nice if it was true, but how can you be so sure? We happen to know that this freighter is bringing an important shipment of Catone's bootleg cheese, and being the honest stand-up citizens that we are, we tipped off a reporter on the Cheesecago Tribune. He's a friend of the Untouchables, so they know everything. In fact, they're out there right now waiting to catch Catone. A double cheese pizza. Mm. I love lunchtime. It's certainly the best part of the day. Good idea to pass ourselves off as dock workers instead of sitting in the car. You're right, Jack. I prefer to be outdoors. Ha! Okay, lunch is over. Get back to work. Move. Start unloading that fishing boat. Then the freighter. Ha! It's at moments like this that I'd rather be in the car. You guys must be new around here, right? Yeah, we just started today. You chose a bad day to start, friend. I doubt you'll be working here very long. Not working here very long? Why'd you say that? Here's Terry Myers. He's our union representative. He's gonna talk to the bosses and see if they'll give us the pay increase that's due to us. And if they're not prepared to raise the pittance they've been paying us for years, we're gonna go on strike. This could blow our entire mission out of the water. Can I come in? Ah, it's you, Mr. Myers. Yes, please come in. Well, sir, I came to see if you managed to reach a decision about the pay rise that we asked you for. Well, Terry, you gotta understand, we're going through some hard times at the moment. The company can't just... All right, Mr. Cheeseman, there's no need to continue. I know your answer, and I have to inform you that we've no other choice but to go out on strike. Now, don't you try and give us the runaround, you cheese ball. Leave the man alone, Kevin. I'm sure we can find some other workers who'd appreciate the value of a decent pay packet. It would seem to me that you haven't chosen your friends very well, Mr. Cheeseman. And as for you, your tin-pot cheese eater, you wouldn't know what a decent pay packet was if it came up and bit you. You got a big mouth, and I've got to shut it for you. Ah, I'd like to see you try, your cheese bag. Uh. What are you waiting for? My people are waiting just out there. You'll never be able to stop us all. Big hairy face crazy, but him have much cutting. I want to show you something. This Ace of Hearts could try and hide in the pack here amongst all the other cards, so it's seemingly eh? impossible to find. <laughs> But wherever it hides itself, I'll always find it. Fancy parlor tricks don't scare me. I'll bid you good day, gentlemen. I gotta get me some fresh air. Phew, well, this fish really stinks. I'm sure it'll ruin my highly developed sense of smell. Well, don't worry, Gordon. The Capri de Deux is just docked, so we'll soon be through with all of this. All right, stop work, fellas, will ya? Hold it, we're on strike. Well, that's that. Just what we didn't want to happen. Well, what happened, Terry? Didn't they accept our demand for pay rise? Ah, they made the same old excuses, and on top of that, threatened to bring in other workers to take our places. We can't let them get away with pulling a stump like that. What are we gonna do? We'll meet the Joe's Bowling Alley. Some guys stay here to make sure no one works. All right, come on, fellas. You heard the man. Let's do it. All right, guys. So as not to arouse suspicion, I'll go and watch with the first group. You go to the meeting in the bowling alley with the others. We want a decent wage! We want a decent wage! We want a decent wage! All the doctors we are leaving and the Capri de Deux has just arrived, but there's no one left to unload it. Oh, this is a catastrophe! We're not beaten yet. Go to every pool hall and low dive in the city. Bring me all the loafers and riffraff you can round up. Understood, boss. We'll get going right away. There's the Capri de Deux. Our shipment has arrived. We want a decent wage! We want a decent wage! We want a decent wage! We... What's going on here? The doctors are all on strike, Nitty. Senior Catone ain't gonna like this. His shipment will start to go off in the hold if it ain't unloaded quickly. Hey, look over there. Ain't those guys in Dog Moran's gang? Hey, now what are those guys doing on our territory? Unless... They're behind this strike, I bet you. Come on, we'll follow them and see what's going on. Hey, Skimizzi. We're on strike too, ain't we? No, what makes you think that, you moron? Well, it's just that we never work. Oh, shut up! While I ran out some guys here, you get hold of Johnny Key. Get us some trucks. How fast do you want trucks? Flight of Falcon or running of Coyote? We gotta do this every time. Flight of Falcon, of course. Ah, Flight of Falcon. Ah, 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 ah. We gotta get in closer and see what they're up to. Come on! Doc Moran needs you to help him with a little job, fellas. Uh, so what is it, knives? A stick-up? Or a bank job? Or what? Uh-uh, it's nothing like that. We gotta unload some freight from a ship that's down at the port. 
Hey, Nettie, if we stack these garbage cans on top of each other, you can climb up and reach that window. Yeah, well, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Don't worry, Aunt Selmy and me will hold on tight so you won't fall. Right, then, let's not waste any more time. A proper legal job? No way. That's against all my principles. I won't do it. Listen to me. With this job, we got a chance of overthrowing Al Catone and taking charge of his territory. The ducks will be all ours, but we need some muscle down there, because you can bet your life there's going to be trouble. Those ducks will try and stop us doing their job for them, and we'll have to teach them a lesson. Should have said so earlier. I'm in. Ah, now you're going to get it. <laughs> what was that? Cheese balls, they almost caught us. Look at my new suit. Sorry, but it was Anselmi's fault. But there was this big fat fly. See? Shut up, both of you. We gotta see Signor Catone. This is serious. Oh, you don't believe me, but well, look, I still got the fly. I caught it. You did what? Get it out of here, you idiot. <coughs> Please excuse our disheveled appearance, Signor Catone, but the matter is very, very urgent. You can take my word for it. Hell, all right, but stay where you are. The dock workers have gone on strike, senor, and our shipment is still on the Capri de Deux. But don't worry, Doc Moran is helping us out. What's Moran got to do with it? Well, he's hiring thugs all over town to break up the strike. So while the dog faced dope is busting up the strike, we can bring home the cheese. See? I got it figured. <laughs> You're the dopes. Can't you see he's trying to take our dockside territory away from us? That's what I said. You never said anything of the kind, you liar. Quiet, I'm thinking. Yeah, hmm. We'll support the men on strike. But, senor, our shipment will rot if it stays on that ship for long. The docks come first. Ah. If we can win the support of the workers, we can control all the shipping companies. <laughs> huh? I get it. If the shipping companies don't do what we want, we call the men out on strike. Yeah, exactly. Huh? Oh! I want the strike leader and Mr. Cheeseman for a meeting in my office this afternoon. And as for Doc Moran, I'm gonna send him a little gift so he won't stick his nose into our business. Now take that idiot with you and don't let me down. Everything's gotta be perfectly synchronized. You got it? We got it, Senior Catone. Come on and tell me, move it. What happened? Uh... I calculated the departure point, the speed, the friction on the floor. To Mrs. Wilson, that's zero points. Wait up, let me examine the ball. Huh. Hmm. Excuses. Face it, you're losing and you'll have to pay for the next game. The ball's worn on one side. It's just as I suspected. They're all the same. That boat was bringing me some new balls, but since you guys are on strike... Don't pay any attention to him. He's a bad loser. Mm -hmm. My friend's paying. Now it's my turn. Ha! You shouldn't eat so many cheese pastries before bowling, friend. Thanks. I can do without the advice. Especially when you got cheesy fingers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, two truckloads of gangsters are at the dock. All right, fellas, let's get down there. Come on. You hear that? Come on. And my calculations show I won by a point, Gordon. <laughs> Throw those bombs into Lake Michigan. Huh? Huh? Uh, Come on, on let's, go. Go. let's hope those stocks don't pull their guns. Yeah, this whole thing smells fishy. Why don't I use my special bullets to put an end to all this? No, they'll know who we are, but I've got an idea. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Where are you going, Jack? Gordon, behind you. Ah. 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 Great idea, Jack. Yes. Yeah. 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 This ain't the place to fling fish around. Yeah. Huh? Hold it, shrimp. You're like a fish out of water. What are you doing on our territory? Dumping catfish. We've been caught. Moran don't want no confrontation. All right, stop carping. Back in the trucks, fellas. But this ain't over yet. Right, who's the boss here? Hmm. Keep down so we don't get recognized. There are no bosses here. I represent my colleagues to the management, if that's what you mean, mister. All right, fella, come with us. Senior Catone wants to meet you. Oh, he does, does he? Maybe I don't want to meet him. Come on, what do you got to lose? Come and hear what Senior Catone has to say. If you don't like it, you can scare him. I'll hear him out, but I'm warning you, we ain't doing a deal with no gangsters. Don't worry, I think you'll find you and Senior Catone have a lot in common. 
This ain't all that smells rotten. Yeah, but Teddy's a straight guy. But he's a little naive, too. Maybe you should go along to the Hotel Mewington, Jack, and make sure nothing happens to him. Sure thing, Elliot. All right, fellas, let's get this mess cleared up. The smell's beginning. Come in, my friend, come in. We haven't been introduced yet, have we? What's your name? Tell me. I'm Terry Mice, originally from Gdansk in Poland. I'm pleased to meet you. No doubt you've heard all about me. I'm Al Katon. I only know what I've read in the newspapers. Don't believe everything you read in the press. They're always trying to discredit me with lies. Why did you ask me to come here? You're a man after my own heart, Terry. Straight down to business. Yes, sir, I like that. I've got goods on that ship that'll spoil if I don't unload them. I see, so you want us to call off the strike, right? Not at all, Terry. I have always considered myself a worker, and I'm in full sympathy with your demands. Huh? <sighs> it's Cheeseman. What does he want? I want to help both parties out so you can settle this strike amicably. This is Mr. Cheeseman, Senior Catal. Ah, Mr. Cheeseman. I think you already uh. know my good friend Terry Mize. We were just discussing the pay rises they're demanding, but I think you should talk to your associate, Doug Moran, before you make any decisions, don't you? Here, huh? talk to him. Talk to him? I can't. You heard? Talk to him! Hello, Mr. Moran, sir. Thank you for sending me this cake, Mr. Cheeseman, but I have no idea how your new truffle cake was my favorite. Cake? What cake? I didn't send the cake. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> right on schedule. Give me that. Oh, no, a sticky, foul-smelling cheese grenade. Yeah, right. Who is this? I said, who is it? Your friend, Al Caton. Yeah, a gift for messing in my territory. Oh. Huh? Are you gonna sign the decent conditions demanded by my friends, Cheeseman? Oh, yeah, sure, I'll sign. Ah, great, so here's what you wanted, Terry. So I suppose you think we owe you one. That's what friends do, help each other. Well, well, I don't accept it. You don't care about our pay packets. You just want to use us. Well, Mr. Caton, you don't use me. Well, if that's how you feel about it, we really don't need you. Okay, Nitty, you hand over that signed document to his co-workers. But before that, make sure our friend here never sets foot in this city again. Huh? Sure, boss? Getting nasty. Okay, get in, stupid. Come on. <laughs> now, my big mouth friend, we're gonna take a visit to the bottom of an abandoned mine shaft. Hey, Nitty, I think that we're carrying a no-good hitchhiker on the back of the car. All right, keep moving. Just pretend you ain't seen him. Get out of the car and start walking. You're going for a real fun ride, Mister. Huh? <clears throat> it's one of the doctors. He must have been following us. Well, that's too bad. Put them both in the wagon. You don't have to worry, guys. It's all downhill, bon voyage. Oh, boy, that looks like fun. Can I go next time? Shut up, moron. Let's go hand over that document. Ah! Oh, where am I? What happened? I'll explain it all later, friend. Right now, we're going to do something to stop this thing. Leave it to me, right? This is just about to do it. Ah! Ah! Uh, are you all right? Yeah, but I don't think we're any better off now. Look! And the rock fall oh, behind well, us closed off any means of escape. Hmm. There's a gap. Maybe we can lever these out of the way. I found some rope. We can tie that beam to the wagon. Give me a hand. Uh, we put it in here like this, and it'll act as a lever. Yeah, but what do we do now? We fill the wagon with rocks until its weight lifts up those beams. Ah, well, this is gonna take us all night. Huh, why, have you got anything better to do, then? Let's go and finish this thing once and for all. Hey, Elliot, over there, look what the cat dragged in. Comrades, I'd like you to listen to me for a minute. What do you mean, comrades? You ain't one of us, mister. I bring you greetings from my boss, Senior Caton. He's behind you all the way in this strike. We don't want no gangster behind us. Senior Caton had a word with your boss, and he got him to agree to all your demands, you see? 
lucky. Yeah. Tone must have moved pretty quickly huh? to get this strike over. Now we know who owns that cheese shipment. Hey, guys. What happened to Terry? We saw him leave with you. We found out he'd been betraying you all along and making secret deals with Cheese Man to stop you guys getting a decent pay deal. I don't believe a word, but that's ridiculous. Well, it's taboo, but don't worry. We kicked him out of Cheese Cargo, and from now on, Senior Capone will defend your interests, whatever they may be. So how about it, fellas? Yeah! What about a drink to celebrate? Yeah! On Senior Catone, of course. Come on, what do you say? The strike's over. Hey, we won, fellas. Let's drink to Mr. Catone. You guys are crazy. You shouldn't believe a word these gangsters say. Hey, I wonder what Catone did with Terry Mize. Don't worry, Jack was following him. They'll be okay. Well, let's hope so. I kind of like that guy. Yes, it's moving. The beams are starting to give way. Well, this might just about do it. <sighs> we did it. It worked. Look, they're moving. Hurry up. It won't hold for long. We've got to get out of here. <sighs> Keep going. <laughs> wow, that was just in the nick of time. Yeah, that was a close call, all right. Too close. All right, Terry, let's get out of here. Come on. Ah, it's great to be breathing the fresh morning air again. We still got a long walk back to the docks. Ah, well, maybe we'll get a lift on the way. Ah. What's keeping him? This is the last load of that cheese shipment, but I don't see the untouchables anywhere. They're sure leaving it late. I wonder where they could have gotten to. Okay, they finished unloading the boxes, Nitty, and the trucks have arrived, so we can get out of here. That's perfect. We'll leave just as soon as the trucks are all loaded up. Everything worked out just as Senior Catone wanted it, Scalise. Not exactly, Nitty. Federal Mouse Hole of Investigation. This shipment is confiscated. What? What do you mean? This is a shipment of shoes. Perfectly legal. Show him the papers. If these are shoes, they've already been worn by guys with smelly feet. So you won't mind if we open them up and take a look? Mind? Hey, everybody, listen up. These guys are trying to break our agreement. Don't let them. Yeah, but we, yeah. Uh... Take it easy, guys. We're federal agents. Well, what are you waiting for? Can't you see the bluffing? Things are getting out of hand. I gotta help them somehow. One moment. Smile, please. Thank you. Get the camera off him. Reporters twist things round. Yeah, oh, come man. On. Don't listen to these gangsters. You got a nerve turning up here, Terry. I don't know what these crooks have told you, but they're lying through their teeth. Hey, what do you mean? It's thanks to them we've got good pay and conditions, isn't it? In exchange for what? Doing dirty work for mobsters? You guys get paid to unload ships that attack federal agents? Terry's right. We should never have yeah. listened to those hoodlums. Let's throw yeah. them out. Yeah, yeah, they tried to use us. Let's get rid of them, yeah. fella. Stay back or you'll be sorry. Huh? Balls. Hey guys, how about we have ourselves a guy? Well, guys, it looks like you used up all your ammunition. But I still got mine, and they were getting pretty bored. Go for it, Bill. <laughs> huh? Well, I go right in the back of the net. Terry. Thanks. Now I should thank you. Now let's see if we can reach a proper agreement with Mr. Cheeseman. You can count on our support for anything you might need. I might just do that, Agent Mouse. So how's it going, fellas? Have you finally reached an agreement? Yes, and here's my signature, this time without pressure of any kind. And I'm sure between all of us, we can make sure that those mobsters don't interfere in Lake Michigan's docks again. Well, they won't bother us while they're in prison. Come on, Jack, you know how it works. A bail will be posted, Katom will pay it, and in a few days, they'll all be out on the street again. You may very well be right about that, Deborah. That's not the point. We'll continue with our mission until Katom's put behind bars for good. Hey, do you think that day will ever come, Elliot? If you keep riding the way you have been and people start to lose their fear of the mobsters the way Terry has, that day will most definitely come, Tino. Hey, why don't we go to Joe's bowling alley for a game? Hey, come on, fellas, what do you say? I say, yes, sir, that's great. You know, Joe makes great pastries filled with melted cheese. They're delicious. What's the matter, Agent Gordon? The music at the Cheese Paris Club no longer to your taste all of a sudden? Well, I do like a change of rhythm now and again. Hey, Pierre, you want to come and see how he makes them? We can make beautiful music. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot was right. The number of ordinary citizens no longer scared of Catone was rising. 
And this is exactly what would spell the beginning of the end for Al Catone. In the next cheddar-packed adventure of Elliot Mouse, Dog Moran declares war on rival gangster Al Catone, and they declare the streets of Chicago their very own private war zone. Al Catone decides to hand the Untouchables Moran's head on a plate in exchange for his own freedom. With the chance of putting Moran behind bars, the Untouchables decide to accept Catone's offer. Will Elliot be taken for a ride, or will we see the end of at least one gangster? Find out in the next thrilling installment of Elliot Mouse and the Untouchables! Thank <laughs> you.